Macmillan Mulik is an acclaimed watercolor artist who is not only popular in his hometown Pune but has gained a remarkable reputation worldwide. He has been painting since childhood and has experimented with different mediums. He chose to study engineering but after completing his education his passion brought him back to art. He found inspiration in his father, renowned painter Pratap Mulik. Milind has been painting for 35 years now and has carved a niche in the world of contemporary Indian art. Milind, breaking away from his forte as a representational artist has explored abstract expressionism, the powerful visual language of the non-representational. Speaking of his works Milind says, what do I want to say about abstract expressionism in art? Frankly nothing. Is it an expression of visual emotions creating a non-objective statement or a celebration of act of paint spreading on the canvas or any other definition I do not know, as for me it is lots of fun. There is no reason to compare and analyze abstract and realism as it is like comparing apple and orange, dot yet for me, whether I paint realistic or non-objective abstract the process is same. It's all about the shapes, color, tones, movement and trying to find my aesthetic statement in relation of shapes and color tones. As for the viewer, it is not expected to find any meaning nor look at it just as an emotionless design pattern, like it or not and that's the end of it. The geometric and organic forms, the strokes of brush and the color palette reveal the attitude with which Milland has approached his substrate and the joy reflected therein with freedom from thoughts and emotions. The free-flowing, dynamic and static forms convey and confirm the above statement. The color palette chosen to delve into the infinite world of abstracts as vivid, earthy, warm, cool, neutral, light and dark and all in betweens. Through the powerful strokes of lines, colors merging, flowing and emerging, Milland has created depth, space and movement throughout the composition lending the artwork additional brilliance. Traversing back to the color field and lyrical abstractionism movements, the viewer will delight in the subtle expression and interpretation of that which is seen through the inner sense and reflected upon externally by Milan. Hello, uh, so I'm going to talk about uh, my experiment with uh, abstract expressionism. Uh, so basically, uh, I uh, when I paint, uh, may it be any landscape or realistic painting or a abstract expressionist uh, kind of a experiment that I do. Uh, when I begin, there is no difference between the two. Every painting is shape, color, tone, the relations of shapes and colors and tones, the movement in the painting and ultimately balancing, harmonizing, unifying the whole rectangle. So, uh, the whole approach is of a, um, you can say one of the design, okay, balancing the whole thing. Now, the difference between the realistic painting and abstract expression is that in a realistic painting there are objective identification and uh, if I am doing a painting, I have something in front of me or in my mind or imagination and I have a path, particular path by which I am going. If it's abstract expressionism, it's a, it's like a it's like a blind uh, path. Okay, I begin somewhere, I might end somewhere. So it is more about enjoying or uh, exploring the process of the painting. So there might be an idea, a design idea in my mind, or there might be any uh, other sort of emotion that uh, I want to convey. Besides that, when I begin. It starts with certain kind of uh, application of paint, the movement of paint, the shapes happen, the color happens, the tone happens, a uh, lot of uh, exciting and a uh, lot of exciting things happen on the canvas and the process begins. So the path ahead is not sure but as I go on the path will uh, obviously take its uh, confirmation one can say. So, it's an interesting uh, interesting journey, I would say. Like, uh, in a realistic painting, there is a definite path. Even I might move from the, move away from the realistic representation. I might go semi-abstract. I might go anywhere. But there is a path. In abstract expressionism, there is more of an exploration, I would say. Obviously, all the elements of uh, design, like 
karma decomposition, balance, center of interest, etc., uh, etc. Et so they are playing uh, their role in the process, but the process is more of a exploration. Again, I'm using the word exploration more and more. So that's all about it. I think nothing more to say. <laughs> <laughs>